Hey guys, this is the full preview for my Sunday, June 23rd, Whatnot Auction. Anything you see I can run for $3 opening bid. Just send your requests via Whatnot messages and I'm going to run them in the order that they're received. And then at 1 o'clock, I will do the pre-listed items. And there will be a decent number of those this week. And I'm just going to go down through them in order. Some of those buttons are hand-carved uh, bone, we'll say. Nice little glowy caster there. That's an amethyst inkwell. I believe it's from Cory, Pennsylvania. A double mint set from 1977. Some disposable Miller High Life aluminum uh, ashtrays. That Simon Pure Coaster there, I can run that by itself. And there's going to be a lot of, I think, six of those in the pre-listed stuff. And I'm going to run as a lot. But that one can sell by itself, and they're pretty scarce. Those are Polaroid sunglasses. Uh, that B set of playing cards has a hole through the middle of them. I believe they were, uh, I think it was Flamingo Casino was where those were from. Pretty scarce spice tin there, missing the lid. Uh, there's another one from that company. It's uh, C.A. Kurt out of Erie. Kurt. I have another one of those in the pre-listed items, or I will by the time the auction starts. A little Mermaid Bell. Puzzle Block. That's uh, from a Ice Company in Erie. You can run all those Kodak containers as one lot. They do have stuff in them. I think they're uh, lens filters or something that I think people usually just want the lens covers or the little boxes. Uh, early 1900s Mother's Remedy book. Uh, the uh, Ruth Newton doll does work. It's a pretty nice change bank. Label's a little bit worn on the bottom, but the glass bulb is intact with the little baby inside. There's a Battleship Maine, late 1800s pre prohibition beer glass. Does have some flea bites. All three of those old Christmas bulbs work. Anything in these trays, I can run in the whole tray. Little watch parts and containers and toys and Canadian trade dollars. And that's a little piece of bleak. That's uh Oh, uh, Van Schyholtz, I think, is the porcelain 
It's from Germany. And that's Swan. A lot of penguins today. Anybody's into penguins. Some candy containers. Little tiny crap. That penguin's a trinket box right there. And that's a mercury thermometer in that tube there. I can run this set of carolers. Uh, I don't think they're marked, but they're probably just uh, mid-century, made in Japan. I uh, can run those all three together. We have swans and uh, penguins today. Nice Myrtlewood painting of a covered bridge back there. That was a really nice mobile oil, outboard motor oil can until somebody scratched it out and scratched heavily number 20 into it for some reason. I can do the lot of Viewmasters in those type of sleeves and the Viewmaster together and then I can do the Three Little Pigs and Cinderella, Black Sambo, Ugly Duckling, I can do those separately. And they do have some, some really rare Viewmaster reels in the pre-listed stuff. Or it will by the time the auction starts. This is a really neat box. The top is rough. But very Art Nouveau looking. I'm not quite sure what it was. But it's got all sorts of little compartments to stash your stuff in. Missing one of the knobs. It's got a drawer that pulls out with more little sliding compartments. Neat Art Nouveau kind of inlaid design on it. I don't know, some sort of decal, I think. Like I said, the top is rough, but you could replace it or just fix it up a little bit. Neat little lacquer. Jewelry box. The Snoopy in Woodstock and Charlie Brown's near the other side tin garbage can is rough. But if somebody wants it for three bucks, uh, the bottom's kind of rusted out almost on it. But stick a bag in it. But three bucks somebody might want it the graphics are, are pretty nice on it nice frank Hummel bowl iridescent wedding basket little hall planter more swans Carved wood figures. That bottle there has a music box with a ballerina inside. It wasn't working. It was kind of working. But I couldn't get it to stay working. Some more stash boxes. Raggedy Ann stash box. It's a wind-up music box, and it's about the same condition. It seems to be semi-working. Lots of penguin ornaments. I think they're all from, like, the 90s. Still in the boxes. Few hankies in there and some leather gloves that were probably nice if anybody's into women's leather gloves. I'll just do the whole lot. A 
Again, that's from an advertising spoon and bottle opener from Ace Company Erie, as is that uh, set of ice tongs. Texas Ware Confetti Bowl. Uh, it's a French coffee pot, I believe. Pewter. The little melted popcorn bunny. Nightlight works. What's all this crap? Pretty cool paint by number back there. It's unframed, but it looks like it's nicely done. Pink Pyrex bowl. I guarantee that will arrive broken because it's already smashed to hell, but it's still pretty neat looking on that flow blue picture. Neat little lot of doilies. There's the Afghans that nobody seems to want. That's an M&M &M throw with minimal old lady hair on it. That's a Made in Japan music box and it does work. Kind of a fake Kobo. This was a, an awesome clock at one time. It does work. It is a Calyx. Um, it was presented to E. Blake Nee Gleason on August 3rd, 1952 by the Gleason Works Elder Statesman's Club. That little clock works and spins around and it's got this world clock that also spins around. It does work. It has a leather case. The leather case looks like that. But it's got a lot of character to it. I'll say but very nice clock and if you're if you come into my auctions to buy it or resell uh, you might want to look that up before you let somebody else get it for three bucks maybe it'll sell for five I don't know what that turkey is. I think it's a decoy. It's like foam. I stuffed it with newspaper so it made it look pudgy. Oh my, this is a long preview. <laughs> but again, the auction will start at 10 o'clock. I will run the items in the order that they are requested. Coupons will be on my Facebook page. One o'clock I'll do the uh, pre-listed items in order. And I didn't mention everything that I had out, but th there is some fairly valuable stuff on the shelves this week. Oh, and my drywall screws that I never put away. And I didn't add too much over here. Uh, there's a, a Find It game. Those are kind of neat. And there's a real nice uh, giant stuffed bunny. So that's pretty much the preview. Send your requests via whatnot messages and I will run them in the order that they're received starting at 10 o'clock and I will do the pre-listed stuff at 1. Thanks guys.